World of Tank Blitzers and Future Momrads. Littlefinger here back today to share a little more knowledge with you guys. This time I'm talking about the Japanese Chiha. It is a tier 3 medium tank. And you can see it here in my garage. Um, it's a rather nice looking uh, tank. Let's go ahead and look at the tech tree real quick. <clears throat> You can see here um, at tier three, it, the the Japanese line does break into lights and mediums, but then uh, once it gets back to the Chinu, Chito, and Chi Ri, um, back to the medium lines. Um, don't get yourself fooled with this tank, guys. This is about what to expect uh, as you work up the Japanese line. Um, this tank is not extremely fast. It has a super accurate gun. Uh, doesn't really dis dish out a lot of damage um, and and it's not extremely maneuverable so that's kind of what you're gonna get as you work up this line let's take a look at the characteristics here you can see here 14% um, protection 19% firepower 42 shot effectiveness and 40% on maneuverability it comes with 360 hit points the hull and turret armor is really good on this tank um, certainly better than average the, the weight is the lightest uh, of the mediums and the horsepower there at 240 is um, towards the bottom of the class which uh, gives you a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour and traverse speeds there at 30 degrees per second which um, you know range right there pretty much on the worst of the the mediums as far as the the turning of this tank you can see here it does come with quite a few options for gun 5.7 37 millimeter um, and I'm playing it here with the 47 millimeter gun the nice thing about this is the extremely high rate of fire and some very good penetration numbers I'll go into that um, when I bring up the spreadsheet. But first, let's look at how I have this set up. Um, consumables repair kit, multi-purpose restoration pack, and adrenaline, provisions running standard fuel, white rice, and protective kit, ammunition running about 20 rounds of the Pramo, which is AP in this count. Um, you can see the difference here, 61 to 92 is the difference um, between your penetration values. Obviously, you're going to get the same amount of damage out of that. The, um, the HE round is right in line with the rest of the, the mediums at Tier 3, where the, um, an average there of 25 for the penetration. Equipment, I decided to run the vents, enhanced gun lane drive, and... Uh, coated optics so let me pull up the spreadsheet real quick and then we'll get into some gameplay all right guys here's our trusty spreadsheet you can see the Chiha is at the bottom there with the 47 millimeter gun that's where these stats come from and obviously we are comparing it to a six pounder gun and to um, basically 7.5 centimeter guns so you will see when we talk about the um, average damage, this tank does not fare as well. But anyway, 360 hit points is just below the average. The hull and turret armor are well above average there. Um, it is the lightest of the mediums, but it only has a 240 horsepower engine, which does not produce very good numbers on the speed and traverse. This tank is a little sluggish. You do need to prepare ahead of time as you're not going to be able to zip in and out of um, cover as well with this tank. But where the tank stands out is with those shell penetration values there. 81 and 122 with your Pramo. Um, and the rate of fire there at 15.4. Dispersion at 0.39 is best in class. And it is almost as good there as the medium 3 with a 1.8 second aim time. The average damage though is um, a lot lower than the other tanks. Um, this is a much smaller gun, but it is offset by the fact that you have a higher rate of fire. And um, it is quite effective on the battlefield. So let's take a look at that. 
Alright guys, here we are. First game on Himmelsdorf. You can see I am the low tier. And uh, we've got three tier fours in this game. I like our composition better over here at the rail, so I'm going to ask for everyone to go right. Um, and as this is a new map from a lot of you that are working your way up the tiers, it is important that you have a lot of map awareness on this one. Um, you can easily get circled and get be start getting flanked um, and take fire from both sides. I was not expecting to see um, those two tanks pop up there, but I'm going to go ahead and get a shot in and then back off. Um, not a good situation, uh, even though not all of those guys are even looking at me, but you know, I just don't want to get into a situation um, where I'm taking on multiple tanks at one time. So I'm going to push to the right, which takes out the, the two sitting there on the left. They're distracted, so I'm going to aim for the Panzer IV here. He is one of the bigger guns in the game, so of course you want to work on getting them out. Um, he is not moving much here, so I'm just going to drop the adrenaline and just keep pumping shots into him as he is not um, looking at me. And you see I bounce uh, a few shots there from the Keeney, get a shot in and finish him off with a little bit of a love tap there. And um, so you can see here now that we have been surrounded and so obviously I'm just going to keep pushing forward and thankfully uh, these guys have uh, for the most part uh, avoided me. Um, I do start taking a little bit of damage here. I managed to get him in the tracks there, keep him still. Wanted to get a few more hit points on their ram. I'm not sure what the Valentine is doing there. Um, I get set on fire, put that out. And go ahead and finish him off. And you can see just how fast this gun is reloading. Uh, they've got a guy sitting in cap, and there's only two left. So this is my, um, my only other guy that I'm worried about right now. And you can see again just how fast this tank reloads. Aim for the track there. You get some extra experience points if you uh, track a player and one of your teammates um, gets some damage in. So you get assistance there. So um, plenty of time here to get to the base. And uh, whoever it was that was on the base has decided not to sit there as three tanks come in on him so we're gonna push around and uh, he gets spotted and taken out and you can see just how many shots I think I got 20 shots off in this game in a very short amount of time that was a fairly short game but um, end up doing just over 1100 damage which must be right at the cutoff for a mastery there so Anyway, got a couple more I want to show you. All right, next game here on Fort Despair, top tier. I like to push to the right, but I'm taking a look here at my mini map and I'm seeing most of my team uh, going more middle. Um, so I don't really want to push myself into a bad situation in the corner without any support whatsoever. Um, and also they've got three or four guys that have uh, popped up there on the radar that are um, over there in those those buildings so what I'm gonna do is just push closer to the middle so I'll have some shots but I don't want to rush into that situation there um, all my guys are sitting in base right now so I'm sitting right here you can see behind this ridge line protecting most of the hull And just hoping that um, some of these guys that are on the other side of this building will, will pop up for me. So this is being a little bit on the patient side with this game. You can see I get one good shot into him. And uh, get another one in there. 
finally go ahead and finish him off. So now we're up uh, four on three. Got this uh, BT-7 here. Gonna go ahead and try to get a good ram on him to keep him, you know, try to destroy his tracks so he won't run from me. Um, kind of missed there with the tracks, but um, you can see how well this gun aims, even on uh, even on the move, full speed ahead. So now we're three on two, and um, that PZ S35 has some really good armor, and they've also got a T82 who has three kills. Um, obviously, got to worry about him because he can pretty much kill me with one shot just about so being cautious I was hoping that they would uh, come up to the base we've got a guy sitting in base I was hoping that they would come around the corner and and give me some shots but uh, instead that t82 gets his fourth kill uh, without coming around the corner so um, that strategy did not work so now I am two on two I have been very cautious with my hit points so I can afford to be a little bit more aggressive at the end of the game. And again, I'm just going to work this corner. Uh, there's a nice ridge line here. And while I'm trying to get in p position, the T-82 takes out another tank. So he's on the reload. Um, and uh, his aim is not the greatest. So I am just shooting right here on the very top right corner of his tank. And you can see just how accurate this gun is. Again here, just showing a little bit over the ridge line. And uh, get two shots in, and, and he bounces one. So he's going to back off. Um, and knowing that he's got some tough armor, I do switch over to Pramo here. Um, didn't realize that he was actually showing me the back of his tank. Um, so I need to aim a little bit lower. And uh, I can switch back to the AP now. Get one in his tracks there. And uh, just keep aiming low. I can trade shots at this point just because I've done a good job conserving my hit points throughout this game. So even a two-on-one situation, I was in a good position to get some, some good shots in there without exposing my whole tank. So just over a thousand damage there, a level one mastery. All right, one more. All right, guys, here we are on Copperfield as the top tier. I still prefer um, going right on this map. Um, so I'm gonna turn and look and I've already lost two teammates to the left. So I'm gonna stick with them and push around. You can see they are uh, all over the place at this point. So. Anyway, I like if I come on this side to get right behind this rock here and just stick out just a little bit. You can see through that bush and uh, get shots in down that alleyway if uh, the team coming up isn't that careful. They do get a shot in on me, um, but I've gotten three shots to their one at this point. So um, I've gotten them backing off. Uh, they probably don't know how many tanks we've got over on this side, so they're being a little bit more cautious. Now they've got two tanks um, that have pushed around the flank. That SU is behind the building, um, but that medium has got himself exposed way too far out in the open, and he's going to pay the price. The SU is doing a good job. He is hiding behind the building there. Uh, even this gun is not that accurate. Um, but uh, I'm going to hope that our teammates keep him distracted while I uh, focus on the majority of the tanks on this side. Um, so I'm going to push around this corner here. And as you can see, um, you can back all the way into this corner and you are completely hidden from any tank that might be behind those pipes there. So just a matter of just taking a shot, backing up, and you can see all of these heat shots all around me, um, which I can only assume is coming from that SU um, on the hill up there. So 
So going to be a little patient here. And uh, sometimes that's the, the best strategy is to let the opponent make the mistake. Uh, I talked a little bit about in the last game about trying to conserve your hit points for the end of the game. See, there's another shot. Um, because uh, oftentimes at the end of the game you do need to trade hit points. But that's not a good strategy at the beginning of the game. And I'm willing to take a shot to... To get this guy out of the game with his big gun. And uh, we've got three on two on this side. And uh, just extra cautious. And you can see here I'm using these uh, dead tanks as, as a shield. Moving back and forth. And getting very little red with the, uh, the AP on this gun. It is, um, like I said, it is a very strong gun. Can go ahead and finish him off. And they're down to two players. And... Uh, the M3 light has decided to run for it. Um, going to go ahead and try to cut him off here. Get one shot and you see how well this gun shoots on the run. And then we see that SU sitting up on the hill. So better to take cover. Um, play it cautiously here. I didn't realize that all of those shots on the hill were probably coming from him until I went back and looked at this uh, gameplay. But uh, you can see he has turned and is not focused on me. So I can go ahead and get some shots in. And uh, just how fast this gun aims is uh, it's, it's just a wonderful gun on this tank. And, and it is the reason that I love the, the Japanese line. So anyway, you can see here we did uh, just over a thousand damage and, and got four kills in that game. All right, guys, Lost Temple. Um, showing this game just because I'm really enjoying showing you some different maps outside of uh, Fort Despair and, and Mines. So you can see here we do have uh, quite a lot of Tier 4s. Um, I'm going to play this one a little bit differently instead of going straight to the corner. I'm going to be a little bit more conservative and uh, use this ridge line here. Um, and you can see how well this tank can climb that hill uh, in large part thanks to its uh, really good um, horsepower to weight ratio. It is, as you remember, one of the lightest uh, medium tanks out there. So I have been spotted, so it is time to abandon position. And uh, as I'm dropping off the hill, I break my tracks. But you can see I don't have anyone around me, so there's no point wasting uh, provision on that. So um, just be a little bit more patient. And of course, you know, being in a tier four, you don't want to in a tier four battle, you don't want to be in the front lines anyway. Uh, you want to be able to pick and choose your shots. We're going to push up on this cruiser. And, um, you can just see, just using the ridge line here to our advantage. He backs up, and uh, so I turn forward so that our, our armor is facing him. We've got this A20 sitting here. Uh, with his gun down, typically means that he is AFK. So um, since we need to move around this corner, we'll go ahead and finish him off. Uh, it's kind of funny he wakes up there. Uh, a little bit late, dude. Anyway, so uh, we're going to continue pushing around the temple. And uh, you can see the, the Valentine over there. Uh, that's a, The tank has got some good armor on it. And you can see we are just uh, putting these shots through him like, like a hot knife in butter. He has uh, disappeared behind that rock. That T-28 is going to move in. And uh, obviously when you've got two tanks, you want to uh, go in opposite directions. But um, this tank is not fleet of foot and uh, it does take a little bit longer to, to get there. But uh, you can see two shots real easily into him. And now uh, we are up six on two I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it here we are quickly six on one 
in cases like this, I just like to go to the base and, uh, you know, push the guy out. He's got to come to us at this point. But I've got some more anxious teammates that they uh, are down there searching around, and sure enough, he has spotted. So at this point, it is just a get in there and circle him and finish him off. So we'll get a couple shots in before that A32 finishes him off and uh, you can see here that even though we were one of two tier threes low tier on this game we did manage to do 744 damage uh, second highest on the team alright guys last game here just wanted to throw this one in because it is the brand new mines map um, have not had much luck with uh, just rushing the hill like the strategy on the old mines map so my preference is to push to the right um, and uh, there's a, quite a few lines of sight to get shots in for um, those guys that have rushed the hill so This T2 medium here has pushed up and he's in the wide open. I am going to just take a few shots on him. And he is coming full bore at me, bouncing shots. So he gets one shot in on me <laughs> when I take him out. So i um, got a little bit more problem here with the... Um, Panzer four coming at me. And this is the downside to having a small gun. But we do get a few shots into him and finish him off nicely. Now you can see the accuracy and uh, just the penetration values on this tank. Doing well here. And uh, then of course I bounce the kill shot. Anyway, um, you know, that's the way this tank is. Uh, just a wonderful gun. Um, it is slow, it's sluggish. Make sure that you are keeping yourself in cover. Um, but you can really do a lot of damage, even at 60 hit points per shot. Um, so, anyway guys, um, enjoy the Japanese line. Um, it's a lot of fun to drive. As always, stay safe out there. Have fun, get educated, not fingered. Little finger out.